Alright, so it's time for another Unreal Developer Project Showcase Feedback video. Um, today we will play a 2D, 3D platformer created by Nizar Shawa. Well, I try, you know. Um, and he says that uh, this game, which is called Nizo Files, it's a 2D, 3D platforming game that takes place in my college, a leading private educational institute in my region. The idea was to create an identical environment to my college and insert enemies in it. Additionally, basic NPC interaction was implemented. The game transcends into fantasy-like realms after you finish the main prologue that takes place in my college. <laughs> cool. Uh, game features, myself as the playable character, 3D model of my college, terrain, score system, loot, coins and health, magnetic coins, platforms, transitions, swapping in and out of different planes, wall jumping, ranged attack, melee attack, tutorial level, some self-made sound effects, its own distinctive logo and interface style, and more. Random boring technical details. <laughs> okay, that's a lot. Um, but basically, some of what he's saying is uh, that he inserted himself into the Unreal Engine by recording himself doing some actions in front of a chroma key. And by using Adobe After Effects, he cut himself out and applied some visual effects and finally rendered himself as a PNG sequence which then was used to create sprites, flipbooks in Unreal Engine. <laughs> yeah, so that will be really cool. Uh, and the rest of what is saying here, I will paste it on unrealtutorials.com, the um, developer showcase page, so you can read it all. <clears throat> or if you're, you know, um, if you have opted into Unreal Tutorials this newsletter, you will get it. Uh, yeah, so let's try, you know, I'm a sucker for platformers and 2d 3d platformers. I love so let's see Nice logo looks pro yo Cool. Nice, nice, nice. Middle East College. Try the Middle East College campus preview system before playing the game. But I want to play the game! No, no, I, come on, I'll, I'll try. Okay, click and drag. Okay. Yeah, you've done a lot, but it's pretty gray, man. Okay, but this is your campus. That's cool. That's actually really cool. But I take it I can't actually move around here. So it's just to take a look, right? Yeah. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Now let's look at what you got here. I really like those buttons. The sound. And the music. Like the music. I like everything, man. Okay, options. We want it like this. Hm. I like that. Okay, let, let's try the tutorial. I mean, this is the first game with a tutorial that I've tried. So that'll be cool, probably. <laughs> Dude, that's you. 
that's really cool. <laughs> this is original. Well, not like it's never been done, but it's seldom done. That's really cool. Okay, so press A for left, press D for right, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, double jump, cool. Oh, I'm just imagining you standing there in front of the chroma key or whatever you call it. Jumping. <laughs> awesome. And I like the hoodie. Yeah, I like the hoodie. Okay, let's see. Hold shift to run. Hey, that's cool. It's cool. Yeah, I figured that out. Yeah. Boom. Nice flow. Cool, cool mix. Is that what you call them? I get, you know, I get warm, fuzzy feelings when playing platforms, and it, when you have like sounds like that. Beautiful. Okay, so use the double jump and middle mouse button for jump dash combo. Combo. Ooh. Damn. <laughs> okay. Whoa. This is some Mario stuff going on. Gold mech coins give plus five, but beware the red mech coin is dangerous, reducing your score by five. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Oh, you can kick. Kind of half ass kick, but okay. Oh. You can even shoot stuff. What's that? Is it a hammer? Thor's hammer? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, close up. I really like that cartoon effect you put on it. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is great. <clears throat> yes, it was a great I'm starting to sneeze. I think <laughs> I like the interaction between the mouse and the keyboard that was unexpected because I can't actually use the mouse for anything else so I might as well just use the keyboard but you chose to do it like this that's interesting but of course it's a platformer. I should be able to play with a controller. Maybe I can. Okay, so I do not want that, but I will check. Minus five, yes. Come on. Do it earlier, dude. There we go. Ah, fuck it. I finished the tutorial. Really cool, really cool. Okay, I will simply go to the menu now and try the game. Hey, great. <laughs> Initial objective. Enter the college building. Okay. Okay, so obviously you need to texture this. But, you know, what you have already is the play playability, you know? Even though it's just a simple prototype, you have the important elements. So I really get I get the real feel of playing the game even though it looks so unfinished. 
while other people, you know, create it so it looks magnificently awesome, but there's no gameplay. So, yeah. Good job. This is fun. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna go here. He's extra funny when it runs. Well, you, when you run. Oh, I need to be a little bit smarter. Just a little bit smarter. Come on. There we go. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, so I can't kill him with a flying kick? Really? So they go back and forth like that. Ugh. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> cool. Those images so we can see inside. That's really cool. Nice. <laughs> Do you have pixelated enemies like that making those cute noises at your campus? And spitting fire? That would be crazy. <laughs> Press E to enter. Okay, okay. Whoa! That's... That's something right there. That's something. Well, obviously, it would be even cooler if you actually modeled the background, you know, so it was actually 3D. But, yeah, no problem. It's a cool style, I gotta admit. Oh, Nizo, there's a big monster on the roof, please help kill it. <laughs> alright, alright. Well, this isn't actually helpful. Look at my flying kick, man. It's so cool. I can do this all day. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm probably going out. <laughs> That's really cool. Whoa! But I'm gonna check all the way first. Ouch! Ouch. <laughs> Whoa. I like the splashing particles. Oh, I need that. Okay, there was something more. Yes! Oh, I'm getting the hang of this, but I'm dying. I'm actually dying. Oh, I'm dying, no! I'm not that good playing platformers without a controller. Huh. That was interesting. Didn't I make that? Okay. It was so easy the first time. I mean... Yeah, 
There we go. Okay. Ah. Ah. Oh, really? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna try this instead. Whoa. Yeah, like that's easier. <laughs> oh, I gotta try again. Oh. That's it, huh? Okay, I gotta try it again. I gotta try it again. But yeah, I can take the scorecard while doing it, I guess. So, the graphics... Well... There's not much to go on, to be honest, you know? But what I kinda imagine is that it would be really cool if... The entire game had the same... Feel as the character, you know? Quasi real with uh, a comic feel, you know? Almost like Jet Set Radio, if you know what that is. And a host of other games that just what, the one I remember right now. Uh, but yeah, it's it's cool. But it's, it's a little all over the pra place right now. Even though it's hilarious. Uh, and of course, you will need to texture everything and make everything smooth. Um, controllability. Yes, yes, yes. Great controllability. Easy to jump and run, double jump, shoot, kick, flying kick. <laughs> but I would wish that I could hurt the enemies when flying kicking like this it's, it's a little you know that should be the most powerful move you have um at least well maybe he's actually just jumping but it looks like he's flying kicking So yeah, controllability, uh, great, 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 great. Uh, level design. I really like the level design. Um, you start off not too hard, but not completely easy either, you know, because the player kind of gets just thrown into a level with enemies and obstacles and, you know, you quickly teach the player <clears throat> the controllers um, okay I completely forgot the tutorial which actually taught me the controllers um, the control uh, yeah whatever yes actually the, tuto the tutorial makes this good because if I didn't actually take the tutorial first then I would be you know it would be too much, probably, and I would die a lot. I actually already die a lot, but... You know what I mean. I hope. Like, this could be... Many people skip the tutorial and just start the game really slowly and you know, just progress through a lot of short, easy levels teaching you the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. Instead, you create a tutorial, teach the player everything, that, he needs to know and boom right in here and shit is shooting flames and you know there's a monster on the top of the roof and I can't even get to the roof <laughs> so I guess what I'm saying is good job Like this, this should be like level five or something. But yeah, I really like it. It's a good design. It's 
classic design. Ah, life. Awesome. Um, user interface? Yes. I highly enjoy the user interface. Okay, I just want to get out of here. Uh, you know, level one, okay. Uh, you're seeing how many point things you have. You have your hearts for your life. Uh, all classic elements. And you have the main menu and I think you have a pause menu as well but I don't know how to find it right now that's how you do that oh I died there again well I gotta try again I guess uh, so yeah and awesome 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 here we see it you know the buttons I like the buttons um, story well, did you say anything about the story? Can't remember. But, you know, a game like this doesn't really need a story that much. Most important thing is that it's fun. But maybe you said something about monsters taking over your. Oh, oh shoot. Oh, I could have made it. Okay. I'm, I'm just gonna die again, okay? I'm gonna die again because it is too lame. <laughs> Fun enjoyment. Did I skip something? No, I don't think so. Fun enjoyment, yes really fun really fun excuse my lameness though <laughs> my hardcore lameness try to talk and play like this yeah that all right I'll just run and die. There should be more hearts, man. I need more hearts. Yes. Uh, challenges, yes. yes. It's challenging enough. It's obviously challenging enough. Uh, but with all the points and whatever it's good but as i said maybe there should be a little bit more a little bit more hearts what happened did the game just die oh well i guess i found a bug guess i found a bug but that's okay uh rewards yep yep every time you kill an enemy every time you do a cool move every time you pick up a point that's a reward and if I ever get to the top that's a reward and if I ever kill whatever's up there that'll be a major reward uh, so yeah you you obviously know what you're doing man <laughs> and this isn't that hard you know to make but a lot of people can you know just have this drive I'm just rambling I tend to do that when I enjoy the game uh, addictiveness Yes, I'm already addicted. Even after I'm finished doing this video, if I can't make this god complete this goddamn level before I quit the video, then I will. I thought I made it there, and I'll play it until I make it. Uh, addictiveness, yes, that's what I'm saying. Immersion, it's platform immersion, right? But it's a little bit more immersive because you have both 2D and 3D elements. So that clash of dimensions makes it more immersive. Somehow. That's that's what I feel. That's what I can say. Uh, replayability. Like any good platformer, it has replayability. 
Uh, now I'm just gonna try to play it and not talk and when I die I will end the video and that's how it is. And thank you for sending this to me. Really? Nai means no in Norwegian, you see. So when I get scared or I do something like this, I talk Norwegian. <coughs> now I'm gonna make this happen. Oh, what? That's just evil. Okay, so I maybe maybe I need to go where then? Maybe. Oh. I'm on the roof. I'm on the roof. Whoa, that's one crazy monster, man. Still as cute. Oh, what? Yeah. And with that, if you have a game that you want to send me that I can try and talk some bullshit and showcase it, then feel free to send it over. And if you have some constructive feedback for Nizar, uh, give it to him. Um, and let's hope he finishes this game <laughs> because it's awesome uh, yes so see you later perhaps and bye bye